The 2012 USA South Hall of Fame class includes two former student athletes, two former coaches, and one former administrator. The class was officially inducted in a ceremony which took place at Ferrum College on Sunday, May 6th. Prior to the induction, the honorees and guests enjoyed a reception. Now let's meet the USA South Hall of Fame class of 2012. David Holmes from Methodist University was a three-time All-American and All-Conference performer and the 1990 Conference Player of the Year. He helped the Monarchs to the program's first three conference championships and their first two South Region titles. David was a three-time All-South Region selection and earned Team Most Valuable Honors twice. Upon leaving Fayetteville, he advanced to the professional soccer level, captaining three teams over the course of a six-year career. In 1999, David was inducted into the Methodist University Athletics Hall of Fame. Currently, he is a territorial manager at Takeda Pharmaceuticals. Um, you know, today's been, a, it's been an unbelievable experience for me. Um, obviously, I played at Methodist a long, you know, long time ago, back in 88 to 90, 91, and um, playing in a team sport, all of my teammates, I needed them to basically make me the player that I was. And this is just basically a rubber stamp on how well those guys did and just some of the accomplishments that we were able to have together um, as a team. And um, I'm just kind of like the tip of the spear and the guy gets a lot of, a lot of the credit. Um, but it's those guys that really made me a better player. Um, and then also just to be here with the other inductees and learn a little bit more about some of the other sports and universities has been a, it's been a great experience for me. Bren Laflame West from Avert University currently holds 10 conference volleyball records, including kills in a match, season, and career. She was a 1997 second team All-American, a two-time All-South Region honoree, and a three-time Conference Player of the Year. Bren helped lead the Cougars to four conference regular season championships and three tournament titles, collecting tournament MVP honors twice. In 2003, she was inducted into the Avert University Athletics Hall of Fame. In 2011, she returned to her alma mater as the head coach of the Cougar softball team and just concluded her second season. I am still in awe of being selected for this honor. It means a great deal for me to be inducted into the USA South Hall of Fame. I've had the distinct pleasure of playing for and coaching in this conference, so I know what a special honor this is. This actually is. Um, this conference encompasses some of the great things in collegiate athletics. Athletic talent, sportsmanship, and a strong focus on academics. So I just want to say thank you for everyone that helped me get here. Oneyu. Abe Knapp from Ferrum College served as head coach of the Ferrum baseball program for 23 seasons. He was named Conference Coach of the Year four times and led the team to eight conference regular season championships, two conference tournament titles, ten NCAA tournament berths, and six NCAA regional runner-up finishes. Abe coached 23 players who took their careers to the professional level, including two former major leaguers who are also fellow USA South Hall of Famers. He is currently ranked among the top 40 coaches all-time in NCAA Division III in the categories of winning percentage and total wins. Abe is a member of three Hall of Fame, Lynchburg College, Salem Roanoke Baseball, and Ferrum College. In 2007, he retired from coaching, but is currently the Director of Athletics at Ferrum, a position he has held since 2004. This is a great honor, and it's all about the players that we've had here, and the great assistant coaches. I'm just so proud of all of our players, and what we've been able to accomplish over the last 23 years in the toughest baseball conference in the country. C.J. Woolen from Christopher Newport University was the head coach at two programs at CMU, men's basketball for 26 years and men's golf for 13 years. On the hardwood, he was named Men's Basketball Conference Coach of the Year six times and led the program to 17 NCAA tournament appearances. His teams captured 12 conference regular season championships and 13 conference tournament titles. CJ coached 11 players who played professionally, including USA South Hall of Fame member Lamont Struthers. He currently ranks among the top 30 NCAA Division III basketball coaches in the categories of all-time winning percentage and total wins. On the links, CJ led his teams to six NCAA tournament berths. He helped four players earn All-American honors and saw one golfer capture the Division III National Championship. In 2007, CJ was inducted into the CNU Athletics Hall of Fame. In 2010, Willem retired from coaching and was honored by the university as the basketball court at CNU was officially named CJ Willem Court. Currently, he is the Director of Athletics at Christopher Newport, a position he has held since 1987. Well, today is a day that you, know, you would only dream about. Um, you get into this business to help young people, 
you coach for a long time, and we were blessed with a great measure of success. And one day you make the Hall of Fame, which is, uh, you know, a fantastic honor. One I'm certainly proud of. One that I'm surprised by. But uh, we've had a great run against from Newport, and I've been proud to represent them for 30 years now. And uh, 26 as a head basketball coach, so it's been a great run, and today will be very rewarding. Dr. Raymond Mo Bauer from North Carolina Wesleyan College served the campus in many different capacities for over 33 years, including as head baseball coach, director of athletics, professional of physical education, and professor of education. He actually began the Bishop Baseball program in 1961, designing the playing facility and served as the head coach for the first 13 seasons. In 1988, the college honored Mo by naming the surface where the baseball program still plays its games today. Bauer Field. Prior to arriving at NC Wesleyan, he was a standout baseball player at his alma mater, Wake Forest University, was drafted by the Chicago Cubs, and played professionally for eight seasons. Mo is a member of two Halls of Fame, Wake Forest and NC Wesleyan. Dr. Bauer passed away in 2005, so his son Paul was on hand to accept on his behalf. I'm proud to be here today representing my father. He was a true Division III pioneer. North Carolina Wesleyan. He, along with gentlemen such as Don Scout, Gene Clayton, Bill Schellenberger, Bev Vaughn, Don Forsythe, formed the Dixie Intercollegiate Athletic Conference back in the early 1960s. He would be very proud if he could see today the accomplishments that the conference has had with the fine academic institutions that now embellish this conference. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to spending time with all those folks here today.